couple days ago, I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the six best streaming services for live TV. Now, uh, those services included YouTube TV, Fubo TV, Sling, Philo, DirecTV Stream, as well as Hulu with live TV. Now, did a side-by-side -side comparison. I did the chart breakdown, give each one a rating on different categories, and at the end, I picked the winners. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Also, following up on that, a uh, question came up asking, if the streaming services are actually cheaper than cable. So I actually did another video just comparing YouTube TV versus Spectrum. Definitely check that video out again, especially if you're in the market for your live TV. Now, having said that, today I'm doing another comparison and this is gonna be between Sling TV and Philo, which are the two cheapest streaming services that are currently available. So the base price on Sling is gonna be $35 on follow is 25 and a lot of people want to cut the cord want to save a lot of money and this is where they start looking so this video I'm going to do another breakdown I am going to bring out the chart again compare these categories I'm going to um, look at their free trial their price their channel lineup the TV guide and user interface simultaneous streams user profiles DVR as well as sound and video quality and at the end of course I am going to pick a winner or a recommendation if you're in the market for a cheap streaming service. So this video is not gonna to be too long. Hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So not gonna to take too long on this video. Let's go ahead and start off with the free trial. Now the free trial on follow is a little bit better in my opinion because instead of requiring the payment information, you can use your phone number and they'll track it that way. Now Sling also offers a free trial, but the free trial is gonna be three days and they do require payment information. So as far as a free trial, I'm gonna give the win to Philo. Not only do they give you seven days, but they also uh, don't require as much information as Sling. Now over to the price of these services. Now Follow is gonna be $25 a month. Only have one package. They do have some add-ons that you can add to your service. So if you scroll all the way down, you can see these add-ons are available. So they have Epics, uh, they also have MGM, Stars. Now over to Sling TV, Sling is gonna have three different packages. They have a Sling Orange, which the price on that is $35 a month. They also have a Sling Blue. Price on that is gonna be $35 a month and they have a Sling Orange Plus Blue and the price on that is $50 a month. So we're gonna get into the channel lineup here next. Now over to the chart again and if we're just looking at the price with Sling being either $35 or $50 a month, follow coming in at 25. Uh, Sling is a little bit higher so uh, we're gonna give the win here to follow. Didn't quite give Sling a red just because even at the 35 price point it is pretty affordable uh, but it's still higher than what follows offering let's head over to the channel lineup so with follow you are going to get 60 plus channels and you can kind of take a look at the channels here so a and &E is going to be there we also have mtv we have hallmark we have uh, discovery uh, we also have a tv land tlc so these are all the channels that you're going to get guys notice it's missing a lot of channels don't see tnt tbs don't see any sports, so don't see Fox Sports, don't see ESPN. So in my opinion, this lineup is really limited and it targets a specific person that really doesn't watch any sports. And um, not only that, but sports is not even available as an add-on, so you can't add it if you wanted it. So this is all the channels that are gonna be offered. So 60 plus, but not all usable for me at least. And uh, let me know what you guys think because I know some people really get the subscription maybe just for TLC, VH1, and they watch their shows and they're happy with the service. So drop your thoughts on that in the comment section. As far as Sling, uh, their packages, like I said, are 35, 35, and 50 for the Sling Orange Plus Blue. But how they do it is kind of weird. If you go down to Discovery Channel, for instance, it's only available on the blue. Disney Channel is only available on the orange. So if you want Discovery Channel and Disney Channel, you have to get the higher package. It's gonna be the same thing with the sports. ESPN 1, 2, and 3 are gonna be on the orange. Fox Sports is gonna be on the blue. So 
if you want ESPN and Fox Sports, you're gonna end up with the orange plus blue. So as far as the lineup itself, you can see they offer sports. They do have TLC, TNT, they have USA, True TV. Scroll up, you can see they have uh, Discovery Channel, CNN, Bravo, BET, AMC, as well as A&E. I think the channel for Philo is really not that usable. Uh, I think, like I said, they target a specific type of person uh, but with sling you have more flexibility you have more variety and i think they have better um channel options in my opinion so for this one i'm going to give sling the win over philo now the user interface slash tv guide is going to be somewhat subjective but just looking at both uis i think slings ui looks a little bit better more traditional tv guide nothing too fancy however it does have that look that cable look that really gets the job done and it really don't have any complaints. With Philo, it is unorthodox, it looks quite boxy, hard to use, and I do think that they need to improve on this to make it more user-friendly. So as far as the TV guide, the user interface, uh, gonna give this one to Sling. Now over to the simultaneous stream. Now for Philo, you are gonna get up to three streams, uh, which means that you can watch on three uh, devices at the same time. With Sling, of course, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. So with the Sling Orange package, you get one device. With the Sling Blue package, you get three simultaneous streams. And the Sling Orange plus Blue, because you're essentially combining two packages, you get four streams. So uh, with Sling, you get one, three, or four, depending on which package you have. Now, as far as this, I really didn't give anyone a, a win or a loss. Uh, three is pretty standard, I would say, when it comes to these streaming services. With Follow, you have one option there. It is included in the price. With Sling, you can get up to four, which uh, requires you to get that, that higher package. So really couldn't give anyone the win on this one. So let them both yellow. But um, like I said, the three is pretty standard when it comes to these simultaneous streams. Now, another thing that I find that's really important is the user accounts that's available on each service. So uh, why this is important is because a user account allows you to have your recommendations, have your DVR, have your own viewing experience, and um, yours only, you don't have to share with another person. Uh, if there's only one user account, which means that if your kids are recording shows, if your kids are watching certain content, it is gonna be recommended. And also, when they record their, their DVR, is gonna be mixing with your DVR. So very important having separate user accounts. Now Sling does not offer user accounts, so you're stuck with one account. So all your DVR is gonna be tied to one account. And with Follow, you can add up to 10 user accounts or user profiles, uh, which gives you a lot of flexibility to have one for yourself, for your significant other, your kids, maybe your grandmother. So a lot of options there just to get everyone their own viewing experience. So over to the chart, this one is pretty uh, straightforward. Sling didn't offer it, they got the red. Philo offered up to 10. Uh, they got the green or the win on this one. Over to our Cloud DVR. Now, Follow TV, you do get Cloud DVR, and it's pretty good in my opinion. So, with Follow, you do get unlimited recordings, and it saves your content, your recorded content for up to one year. So, very good DVR option in my opinion. Now with Sling across the board, you are gonna get $50 of DVR. Uh, they do have DVR plus that you can add for an additional $5 to receive 200 hours of DVR. That's definitely red flag, not paying anything extra for DVR. So over to the chart, um, with Sling, uh, it's gonna get the red Philo, unlimited, they're gonna get the green. And last thing is gonna be your, your video and audio quality. So both are gonna be in stereo 2.0. The streaming output is gonna be 720p, any DVR video on demand uh, is gonna be 1080p or 720p. Uh, both of those that gave the yellow no 4K offer. So here we are with the final decision and this one, it is kind of conflicting because I do feel like uh, Sling has more red boxes, also has more yellow boxes, um, but to me the better service is Sling. And I think it's how these two red boxes here weighs these weighs very heavily, in my opinion. The channel lineup is really important, to me at least. The user interface is really important. Um, more important than the DVR is. Uh, the user profile is important, don't get me wrong, but uh, with the two reds right here, those just really kill the service. And mainly, 
this one right here where the channel lineup is real limited. So for this one, I am gonna give it the sling. It wasn't a blowout, but a sling is a better option in my opinion. You do pay a little bit more, but I feel like if you stick with one of those base packages, you might be all right. In the comments, let me know what you guys think. Who do you give the win to for the cheapest streaming service that's available? As always, hit the thumbs up on this video, share this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.